Carnivore is powerful. You get steady energy, no cravings, clear skin, and less inflammation. But no diet is perfect. And even on carnivore, there are a few nutrients you might come up short on if you don't plan smart. And here's the thing. The symptoms can be subtle at first. Things like restless legs, fatigue, or bleeding gums. And people often blame that on age, stress, bad sleep, or other things. This video kicks off my Carnivore Nutrient Mastery Series. Today, I'll cover the seven nutrients most often missed on Carnivore, the symptoms of being low, and how to cover those gaps with smart animal-based choices. In the next two videos, we'll look at what's still missing, even if you eat organs and dairy. And then I'll show you a simple formula that makes Carnivore Nutrient Complete. Okay, the first one, vitamin C. We all knew that one was going to be a problem, right? Fresh meat does contain small amounts of vitamin C, especially if it's lightly cooked, but it's not much. Organs like liver and kidney provide more. And if you're low, you may notice bleeding gums or easily uh, or easy bruising or slow wound healing. The solution is to add in liver or kidney once or twice a week. Some carnivores supplement, but nose to tail eating usually covers it. Number two, folate, or also known as B9. Folate is critical for making red blood cells and repairing DNA. It's easy to miss if you're steak only. And if you're low, you'll, you may feel fatigue, weakness, or signs of anemia. The solution, beef or chicken liver, and don't forget egg yolks. They are a great source of folate. Number three, magnesium. I think we hear about this one really frequently. Magnesium is essential for sleep. Also muscle relaxation and your heart rhythm. So it's important. Meat has some, but not enough. And if you are low, You'll get cramps, your muscles, twitching, restless legs, constipation, something we hear a lot about, or waking up at 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning. The solution is shellfish like mussels, oysters, and crab are the best carnivore sources. And still many people choose a magnesium supplement. Number four, potassium. Potassium keeps your nerves firing and your blood pressure steady. So beef provides some, but not enough to meet the daily needs. So if you're low, you'll experience muscle weakness, like you feel like it's harder to go up the steps, palpitations, fatigue, or even dizziness when you stand. The solution, salmon, sardines, clams, and mineral-rich bone broth can really help fill the gaps. Oh, my favorite one, vitamin K2. Most people think of K1 in plants, but what your body really needs is K2 to direct the calcium into the bones instead of into your arteries. And if you're low, over time, your bones may weaken and calcium can build up where it doesn't belong. So in like our arteries or kidney stones, right? So the solution is liver, egg yolks, butter, ghee, and aged cheeses. Number six, manganese. This trace mineral is almost absent in ruminant meat, but it's needed for strong connective tissue, tendons, and antioxidant defenses. So if you're low, you'll have joint pain, stiffness, or slow wound healing. Again, our seafood friends, mussels, clams, and oysters are a great source. And number seven, vitamin D and omega-3s. Muscle meat and dairy don't provide much of either. Vitamin D is vital for mood, bones, and immunity. Omega-3s balance inflammation and support brain health. So if you're low, you might notice low mood in the winter, brain fog, dry skin, or stiff joints. Again, the solution, salmon, sardines, mackerel, or cod liver. These cover both vitamin D and omega-3s beautifully. So here's the good news. You don't need plants to fix any of this. By eating nose to tail, adding in organs, seafood, maybe dairy, if you tolerate it, 
you'll cover almost every base. Think of carnivore levels, meat as the foundation, organs as the boost, and dairy as balance, and seafood as the final seal that locks everything in. So don't let these little nutrient gaps hold you back from trying carnivore. Carnivore isn't just about cutting plants. It's about unlocking the full power of animal foods. So which of these symptoms sound familiar? Cramps, fatigue, brain fog? Let me know in the comments. And when you're ready, check out the next video in this series. What's still missing, even if you eat organs? This is Dr. Rose, the Primal Professor. I'll see you in the next video.